Good evening and welcome back to Frame of Midlife. It's Tuesday evening and this evening we are talking butts. Water butts, to be precise. Uh, there was an interesting conversation going on uh, recently about water butts. And I know that I had been thinking that I wanted to get one for the garden so that, you know, in the summer when the weather gets hotter than I'm used to, that I possibly have spare water for gardening in case there's water shortages, etc, etc. And certainly um, down south, I think that would be a very good idea because, you know, it gets hotter down there than it does up here. Um, but today I heard on the radio about Southern Water. They did an experiment on the Isle of Wight. And what they did is they gave their customers water butts. And the water butts were the type that you attached them to your pole, your, your guttering, and the rainwater came in. But there was also a little hose pipe, sort of about halfway or two thirds of the way up. And what it did was it just let the water leak out at a very slow rate. So it didn't empty all the water into the drains. It just emptied some of it slow and you still had a lot for your garden. And what this did was it stopped the flow of rainwater going into the sewage pipes at times of heavy rain. And I don't remember quite how many water butts they gave out, but they gave out quite a few. Um, and in certainly in one village that they tested, um, the, the naysayers had said, oh, you'll be lucky if you get 20% uptake. They actually got 70% uptake, so yay. And it actually reduced the requirement for them doing the sewage overflow, which means letting the sewage overflow into the sea directly, it reduced the need for that by 70%. And the guy on the radio is like, seven zero. And the guy from Southern Water is like, yeah, it, it made such a huge difference. We are going to be rolling it out in more places in the next short while. So I think I possibly need to move the gaining of a water butt up my list of things to do. Um, certainly I want to try and get it done in the near future because once it hits summer obviously there'll be less and less rain so I want to try and get it while there's still a reasonable amount of rain expected um, and then I can use it for the garden um, because I know that obviously there was um, hose pipe bands etc down south last year. Scotland it's not something that we have ever really experienced um, in my memory anyway you know if they did it when I was a kid I don't remember but also I don't remember it being as hot as it's ever been last year so I think it's time to get prepared um, certainly I am normally prepared for the cold weather Do you know it's always been winter that's been the worst here you know it's always prepare for the cold prepare for the cold summer is just a nice heat summer is getting an awful lot hotter nowadays and I am definitely not used to it so I think the water butt could be a, a very good idea for me but certainly the figures that southern water have put out about this it makes a huge difference to areas where they've used sewage overflow. So if you are in an area where there's been a lot of sewage overflow into the sea and you can afford to install a water butt, then I would say, please get one. Tell your friends, encourage everyone you know to get one. Um, because the less sewage we have going into the sea, the better as far as I'm concerned. Um, so yeah, that is my thought for the day, is who knew that water butts could make such a difference um but i do think that you know it's a great idea for the point of being able to water your garden and if it can stop a sewage overflow you know more power to their elbow so i am going again and i will get myself a cup of tea and i will catch you later <laughs>